Hey, have you ever wondered how we figured out the planets don't actually move in perfect circles? Well, let me introduce you to Johannes Kepler, a total legend in the world of astronomy, and honestly, one of the most curious minds you'll ever meet. Born in 1571, Kepler had a rough start. He was sickly, his family was poor, and back then, people still thought the sun revolved around the Earth. But Kepler? He didn't buy it. He was obsessed with the idea that the universe followed deep mathematical rules. Kepler got his big break working for Tycho Brahe, a Danish astronomer with a golden nose. Seriously, look it up. Tycho had the best data on the planets, and Kepler was determined to crack the code. After years of number crunching and probably a few headaches, Kepler did the unthinkable. He realized planets move in ellipses, not circles. That's Kepler's first law. Mind blown, right? But he didn't stop there. He figured out how fast planets move. Faster when they're close to the sun, slower when they're farther away. That's his second law. And he even came up with a mathematical formula that links how long a planet takes to orbit the sun with its distance from the sun. That's law number three. All this, 400 years ago. What blows my mind is that Kepler didn't have fancy telescopes or computers. Just pure curiosity and a stubborn belief that the universe made sense. His work totally changed how we see our place in the cosmos and set the stage for Newton, Einstein, and space exploration. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, there's a bit of Kepler in every orbit, every planet, and every star you see. Stay curious.